Oh man, what a good day for making a YouTube video. Two of my favorite things are here. My food from ANW and a good pair of wireless headsets. The Xbox wireless headset. That's literally the name of this headset. It's the talk of the town. Everyone's talking about it. Is it worth the hype? Is the value to sound really good? Let's find out. All right, so when buying a headset, it's all about the quality and the value to match the quality. And just at $99, you're getting a lot of comfort, good sound and quality, and also flexibility with the multi-parent feature, which I really love, and is one of my top features on this headset. The unboxing experience was really simple. Opening the box with the Xbox headset front and center, the paperwork showing us how to set up the headset and everything, and then one single USB Type-C cable for charging. And that's it. Literally, that's all you get inside the box. In terms of the design, the headset looks really nice. It's a minimalist matte black finish and features that Xbox green strip around different air cups. And it looks kind of nice. It also has some holes, which doesn't really do anything. But I guess it um, complements the new series of Xbox, which has like the holes on top of it and everything. Yeah, it kind of blend in. I kind of like the attention to detail there. On the right side of the air cup, we have this Xbox logo right here. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. I think that they could have just went without the Xbox logo. It would look even cleaner. Like for example, the PS5 3D Pulse headset. You can see how clean this looks. It doesn't really, like literally no branding. We know it's from Sony. We know this is from Xbox. You don't have to tell us again. Now in terms of durability over time, this headset is mainly made of plastic and it seems as if it's really sturdy, but you know, it, it seems as if it could also break if you sit on this thing. It's not the, like the most premium quality headset. Also it uses plastic on the ear cups as well. So if you scratch it, it will leave a permanent mark. So just be careful with that. One thing I like though is that you could easily pop out the ear cups like this. So you know it's leather, plush leather, or they call it PU leather. I can't remember the full name, but because of this type of material, it will wear and tear over time. So I'm really glad that you could switch them out just like this. But I'm not 100% sure if Xbox sells like replacement ear tips, but because you could take them off, I'm assuming you could. And if they do, I'll try to leave links down below in the description. So I know there's a lot of people out there that don't really like the leather ear cups because it tends to get hot on your ears over time, three, four hours in. You know, I'm not really a big fan of it. Me personally, I like to have the cotton ones. For example, this one, from Logitech right here. These are super nice and mo way more comfortably. It fits nice onto the ears. But then again, you get more of an immersive sound with the leather because it kind of seals and locks in that sound more than like these cotton ones here from Logitech. Now in terms of buttons and functionality, there's a single green button behind the left ear cup and it acts as a pour on and also a pairing button when you need it. You simply touch the green button to pour it on and long press for around four seconds to go into pairing mode. There's also a small microphone on the left side right here at the bottom of the left ear cup and it's adjustable. You could swivel it around and everything, but we'll talk about that soon. Since this headset is Bluetooth compatible, I love the fact that it doesn't look very gamer-esque. You know, you have this thing on. If I was supposed to like head out, wait, I might be talking loud because it kind of drowns out the sound a little. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Let me know what you guys think. It looks pretty sleek. If I was supposed to like grab food somewhere or go to the store real quick, I don't really feel stupid going out in this headset. But you know, some headsets tend to look super gamer big ear cups, big mics. I kind of like that you could just low key kind of hide this. I'm stepping out to grab some food. It shouldn't be an issue. Now to make it even look cleaner, it kind of sucks that the mic, you can't really detach it. It's somewhat flexible as I mentioned earlier, so you could bend it around to hide it or anything. And there's a small LED light that indicates whenever it's inactive or in use. Now, Xbox actually took a page out of the Surface headphone book and allow you to control the media volume by turning each ear cup. It's really smooth and intuitive. When you turn the left ear cups to like forward, that changes the chat and game audio. The more you turn it forward, then you could start to hear more of the game audio. But if you want to hear whatever your friends are saying in a party chat, you could rotate the ear cup backwards and then you could start to hear your friends more. 
or you could find the right balance so you could hear them in unison. On the right side is the same procedure but instead it's controlling the volume. So turn the headset to the to forward or towards your screen, that would increase the volume. You turn the cup backwards, it decreases the volume and it's very, very sharp and snappy. I like it, very smooth as well. Really good job from Windows and Xbox. All right, so if you guys are new, you probably don't know what I mean by pairing two devices. So basically, you could have your Xbox headset connected to the Xbox while being paired to your phone or your PC at the same time. And when on, the right volume control, it controls the boost and cuts out both source evenly. So it's nice. You could use the um, Xbox on-screen volume controls or the volume on your computer or your phones to adjust them individually, which is also cool as well. Now, the headset is fairly lightweight. You want to make sure that any headset you're using isn't too heavy on the head. It comes in at 310 grams on my scale. And when you compare that to like the PS5 headset, that comes in at 295 grams. They're basically in the same ballpark when it comes to weight. The PU leather used around the earbuds are large enough to fit my ears. And the same materials are used on the headband as well, which helps to reduce fatigue and improve overall comfort levels. Also, if you're like me and you wear glasses, this isn't going to be an issue. Um, yeah, it doesn't affect my glasses or anything. And if it it's plush around the ears, it doesn't have active noise cancelling or anything. But whenever you put this headphone on, you could actually hear it drowns out a lot of sound. And I think that's because of the leather material it uses. It kind of like seals and blocks out air. And when you have this on, you're playing music or you're playing games, when the audio is playing, you could hardly hear anything, but thankfully, Xbox enabled a mic monitoring feature. So when your mic is on, you could actually hear yourself talking through the headset. It might sound weird at first, but when you get used to it, it's really, really good because you could actually hear yourself so you won't be shouting above the game level or anything because there's a lot of times where I use different headsets and I'm talking so loud, but I didn't know, and someone has to come in my room and say, yo, Siobhan, you're too loud. Calm it down a little. So it's nice that they have that mic monitoring feature. I know Xbox has the resources to add active noise cancelling on this headset. And while a lot of headphones around um, this price range and stuff like that have active noise cancelling, it's something that Xbox decided to skip on. Probably that's the only way they got the headphone down to $99. But yeah, instead, the 40mm drivers inside features spatial audio, which needs to be enabled via Adobe Atmos or a Windows Sun, the Windows Sonic software, which is free. And obviously, you would need to play games that support spatial audio first to take advantage of this feature. Fortunately, though, if you're a Game Pass subscriber, then games like Gears 5, Ori, and The Will of Whips should be easily accessible. Now, I was using the trial version of Adobe Atmos that comes with the headset. So basically, it would last until September 30th, 2021. And the easiest way to activate the trial version is just head to the Xbox settings app, then select Adobe Atmos for the headphones, which in turn will ask you to download the Adobe Access app. All right, so this is the part where it kind of sucks because you guys can't hear what I'm hearing. But if you love a headset with a good sounding bass, this provides it. When I'm playing music though, the bass isn't that present. For example, when I'm playing music from my phone, I can't really hear the bass, but when I'm playing games, for game audio, it sounds phenomenal. Especially when you're playing FPS games and you need, to, like you hear, you could hear every grenade drop. It gives you that nice feedback. Also games that require footsteps, it works well. In terms of audio direction, you could tell if someone's above you, below you, to the left, to the right on different terrain, grass, concrete, it all picks up those. It has a good audio signature. So yeah, the audio difference with Dolby Atmos is quite significant and impressive at the same time. Like in Call of Duty, imagine being able to hear the grenade explode behind you after it has been thrown and you're backing up. The level of audio separation and the distance where the action take place is definitely greater. Now, while enjoying the spatial audio on the Xbox wireless headset, it's a good experience, but the number of titles that supported are relatively few at the moment, so you can't really make full use of this feature. Now, on the PC side of things, playing games like Valorant and Voice Chat with Discord it doesn't have any like extreme difference compared to headsets I've used before. 
Now while the sound of the footsteps in the game is still evident, it's pretty much basic as we should expect from all gaming grade headphones. Microsoft itself says that the headset will provide up to 15 hours of battery life on a single charge and when it runs out the headset will take 3 hours to fully charge but a quick 30 minute charge will provide enough juice for up to 4 hours of gameplay which comes in handy. Alright so the mic quality, this is what the mic sounds like, I don't know what you expected, the mic to me is, is shit, it's terrible, the mic is so bad like every headset especially around the $100 price point gaming headset to be exact the mic is just always lackluster and i get it i understand like normally you're just talking in game it's like they don't really spend that much time on the mic quality and i'm actually going to compare it to two other headset the ps5 pulse headset which mic sounds terrible as well it has a built-in mic and i'm going to compare it to one of my favorite built-in mics the logitech g pro x headset so yeah, let's do that right now. Now, this is what the um, microphone sounds like with the PS5 3D Pulse headset. And as you can tell, it's also trash. It's built in, so even if you just touch this, it scratches. But yeah, as I said before, typical gaming headsets at this price range. But now let's switch over to one of my favorite, the Logitech G Pro X headset. Alright guys, so now this is the Logitech G Pro X headset. This mic is actually detachable, so you can remove that when you feel like. And yeah, this is what it sounds like. It's the best sounding gaming headset I own. Not the best on the market, but the best I own. It also comes in at $160, so you have to pay that $60 premium to get the mic sounding like this. But to me, it's worth it. So, should you buy it? Overall, Xbox wireless headphones are high-end low-end devices for those who primarily play xbox coupled with adobe atmos i find that it produces a better sound quality than my sony 3d pulse headset and i actually love the sound of my ps5 headset so when i say that you should know i highly recommend this thing to anyone if you're looking for a new pair of headset for your xbox all right so you only heard me talk good about this headset there's a few things i don't like and it's the fact that it doesn't swivel and i always say this when you're using a wireless headset i feel like it's supposed to have a swiveling feature for example if it's over your neck this gets super uncomfortable if you're like getting up going upstairs it's really uncomfortable i wish they had a feature that you could just you know swivel the air cups and have them face down or face up that would have been way more comfortable another downside for me is that since this um headset only has one button on it the only thing you could control while connected to your phone or your pc is the volume there's no button to go back when you're listening to music pause the music or anything like that so yeah that's the only things if they fix those it would have been almost a perfect headset but yeah thank you guys for watching this video Hopefully um, this video helped you in your purchase decision. And as always, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Sign out.